This is Larry Dixon's Nitro Top Fuel Experience times two. We're in Orangeburg, South Carolina. We have four riders lined Aren't up. Aren't you excited, Larry? Larry. Hope this bitch goes down through there. Yeah, me too. You know, when you have four rides like that, you've got to prepare a lot of parts. There's no doubt about it. You've got to be able to have your clutch disc, all your, even your flywheel bolts. You've got to have everything ready to go because you don't have much time. Here, you have to have racks of pistons ready to rock. Here's the next one in line. There's already one in the car. And clutch packs like nobody's business. It's kind of crazy how the RF from the ignition really affects the phones when they get close to the motor like that. Sorry about that, kind of really jacks up the video, but I hope you guys get the point. So we get up here to the track, and I'm telling you what, what a difference this is from the last one. Uh, when we were in Memphis, that thing was like plastic. This one here has got so much bite to it. And look, 116 degrees or so. This car loves that temperature because it gets some free wheel speed. So, pretty excited about getting this thing down through there. This is a difference from Memphis for sure. Okay, we're gonna spin it. Yep. Yep. All right. This is our first rider of the day. Kind of nervous because the last time we're out, we didn't hey, have that ready? great outing. Are you sure? And so right, that's good. this is redemption time. Uh, yeah, we. You know, you would think that you would be able to put a tune up in this thing, that it would go down the track every time. But this thing's a little more finicky than that. You've got to adjust for the track conditions every time you go up. So we changed some things and let's see what she does. sounds great. Track is perfect. I just really honestly feel that we got a good handle on this. So again, this is the first ride of the day. Didn't make it down the track the last time we ran it. I'm checking with our secondary driver. Checking with old number one Larry here. Everything's good? Nope, he's got a question. He thinks the clutch isn't charged all the way. I go ahead and recheck it. And it ends up, we we're looking at the wrong gauge set inside. We we're looking at the one for the oil pressure. So anyway, we're gonna send this old girl down through there. Let's see what she does.
push it back, so. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> How about when you took off? What did it feel like? Was it like a lot of G-forces pushing Yeah, a lot of G-forces throw you back in your chair, throw your head back. There's, um, just hold on for dear life, I guess. Yeah, how about when the parachute came out? It, it slowed down quick. You felt it, too, so. Woo. What do you think, man? That was awesome. Was it sick or what? Yeah, that was Did you feel like how it pulls harder the further out you are? Yeah. That's crazy. I mean, that's an awesome run. Awesome run. 329, 258. Good job, man. No, you good job. Good job. No, you good job. You guys did great. Awesome, boys. We, we broke our own track record. They're we did, man. <laughs> so I'm we're sure track Larry's record. Larry's going to get Dexter Braid, and I'm going to do a quick picture of him here. Hey, look at this guy right here. Yeah. Anybody name who this guy is? Rusty Wallace. His name's Market Scan. I mean, Scan. No, no, read, read the dot com part of it. Uh, oh, hang on. Here we go. Got it. My YouTube followers, all 7,000, will enjoy this. That was incredible, guys. This is the better half of Rusty Wallace. All right. Well, Larry awesome Dixon, job, guys. You just made a young man's dream come true. What do you, what do you think? How is it, man? What I think? She looks good. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. Complimentary. Dixon just threw down on me. Uh, yeah, look at here, though. Hey, I just want, <laughs> want to show everybody something. He, he blasted me, but did you notice he couldn't make it all the way through a corner without stopping? Oh, no. Oh, shit. So, I, I, have oh. Trouble, I have trouble turning left. Yeah. Oh. All right. My, the, my life's been about I, adjustable car, and we had a, a really nice racetrack. The, the racetrack was. Perfect. And when they were gonna spray it again, I about shit my pants. I know. I loved it. You were like, you sprayed it. We're out of here. Oh my god, it was horrible. It was it was so badass, man. We couldn't we couldn't touch that. Stackers going. Point. What's he doing? Think we're on radial tires? <laughs> He'll learn. He will learn. Yeah, just amazing. Yeah, drive-through service here. Look at this, Wallace. Uh, spectacular. Three more times. So here's the ET slip. 892 and 60 foot. 3.290 in the 660 for a 2800 pound car. I'd say that's pretty stout. And here's our save blower. One that we worked this on. This thing is so nice. It looks perfect. Roll with that thing? I think so. Okay, let's spin it. Ready to spin it? Yep. Alright. You ready? Ready. Alright. You ready? Yep. Okay. Just checking everybody's ready to go. Here's our second rider, Lindsay. You know, when you're backing this thing up, the moves that it takes, when you're wanting to put it in the right position, it takes longer. You gotta think about it. This thing's four foot longer than a normal dragster. You know, on this run, we did have an issue. We go in there at about 08 tenths of a second to one second, and we take a lot of timing out of this thing to slow the tire down. Well, it did not engage or activate on this run, and you can hear the motor just rev up to the moon out there about, oh, a second and a half or two seconds. Take a listen. It had so much RPM out there that just gave it so much clutch and it knocked the tires off. Oh, out there about 450 foot or so. Yeah, you know, something like that. You know, we 
didn't want to show lunch. everybody else up today, so we thought we'd slow it down for the rest of them, you know? What'd you think? That was awesome. Was it? Was it crazy? Can you describe it, like, at all? It probably wouldn't be uh, PG appropriate, but <laughs> yeah, it was, it was incredible. Just when you think you're about ready to lose it, then it's over. It's crazy, so, isn't it? That was awesome. Yeah, I'm cool. Yeah. <laughs> Good deal. That was really cool. Now for our third rider, Thomas. We're getting him set in the car, we're getting ready to warm it up. Let's go ahead and throw this thing up on the track. So that second run with Lindsay, when the timing didn't activate, the thing still went a 360 something in the eighth mile. Now we have a driver that's 125 more pounds, 270 pounds total in here. Let's see what she'll do. A normal single seat top fuel car on average is around 2,400 pounds. Some are way lighter than that. These cars know 10 pounds, let alone 400 like this one. A 336 at again 258 miles an hour. Our last ride of the day is Michael. It's getting towards the evening. The track's gonna get tricky. Try to cut up. So with a Larry Dixon uh, pedal job there, this thing goes 389. But look at this crazy bastard on the side here, falling down drunk. Now that's pretty damn funny. Anyway, it was a great run. It was a great weekend. Like I said, we did all of this in one day. So after all that hard work, you have to tear all this junk back down. I'm talking the awning, put the car away, the whole nine yards. But did you see that also? If you look back over the track, the smoke is still there from our last run, just kind of lingering over the back. So uh, me and my old buddy here, we decided when we were taking the awning up that we'd take a little nap here on top of the trailer. Now, that's how you finish a long day like this.